grand evening how you guys doing today my loves so i am back after a long time of being gone um there's so many changes so many revelations that's been going on in my life currently i am in my hotel room because part of my new job that i have i am basically a traveling ma so in phlebotomist so i'm just doing a lot of medical things um but i was watching this video oh did you guys see that Ooh, i was watching this video and it just um made me want to talk about my testimony because basically it was somebody giving a testimony of hell right so i wanted to give my testimony of the time that i went to hell um and when i was in deep sin um i'm still like you know figuring everything out and cleansing myself and relearning myself in christ and learning my new identity um god is forever working on me so um and no one's perfect you know we're all born sinners but you know if you're new you're a baby in christ just like me I'm a little bit mature than I was when I first was a baby, but I'm still like in the beginning. Okay, but uh, on to the story. <sighs> Father God, just give me the revelation that you want me to say to anybody that needs it. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. <sighs> Let me find these words. So, uh, I guess I should start from the beginning because I'm the beginning kind of person. I was hanging out with this one guy. He was in the music industry and you could he like you could just tell like he just had I don't know. He just had something about him and it made me want to like, you know, I'm always like open for love and always like not anymore. <laughs> but before I was like just really like oh where's my husband are you my husband or this this then the fourth and you know I had to stop myself from being so I guess you could say desperate because that's exactly what it was so we just gonna call it what it was um and I ended up wanting to go over there we were hanging out for a couple weeks and I, and I ended up going to his house and I was gonna spend the night but what happened was I fell asleep. We both fell asleep because um, we were watching a movie. And um, all of a sudden, I am just, I'm waking up to like fire all around me. Whew. Fire is all around me and i see this big orange red creature thing just laughing just laughing at my demise just laughing and all i know is that like i'm like laying down and i'm like strapped to like whatever it is i'm probably was just being tortured or something but god didn't allow me to feel any pain all i well i know i felt a little bit of pain it was like burning i know it was burning because i was in hell obviously and it was a lot of flames everywhere and i was just laying there and i couldn't move and mind you one of my fears is being like pinned down like when people like try to stop me from going places or like grab me and then i can't go or they're like trying to stop me from going places i don't know why that's like a phobia of mine because i can't recall any bad experience that i may have had unless god has like taken away that pain from me where i don't remember it um or maybe i was just so young and i don't remember anything like that but i um i just don't like that feeling of being like like i can't move or i'm feeling suffocated so i was just like i know that that was part of my torture in hell and I was just like, I could not move. And I'm just like crying and screaming. And um, I'm like, Jesus. And then I wake up and then out of nowhere, like, I'm pretty sure it was an angel. I don't know. I, I always felt to this day it was my uncle. 
um coming back because he had just passed literally my uncle had just passed and then out of nowhere i see i felt like it was his face and oh my gosh i remember it so vividly he was saying um you need to get out of there right now or you need to get out of here right now Whew. and i was like okay and then i got up and i'm just like laying there for a second and I'm just like, what in the world did I just experience? I was so scared. I was so scared because I'm just like, okay, this obviously has something to do with this guy. So I was like, hey, I'm going to go home. <laughs> I was just like, I'm just going to go. I'm, I'm leaving. And after that, I didn't talk to him for a couple days. And then he had texted me and was like, hey, how you doing? Um, and I'm just like, oh, I'm okay. But, and I kept it real at this point because I'm like, it ain't no point in trying to hide because I am a follower of Christ. I am team Jesus. So I'm not going to pretend like, oh, like this happened. No, I had a scary dream at your house. I think either you're around somebody who's evil or you are evil. One of the two and i'm not about to play with it i and after that he he said what did he say he said i'm offended that you would think something like that and he kind of like just turned it around on me and i was just like i said either you are or somebody around you i i i wasn't sure but now i am 100 percent sure that it's you because obviously people i don't know what it is but we already all know that the music industry is demonic so just you know being around people that are being in the music industry mind you a lot of my boyfriends have been in the music industry now that i think about it or try to be in the music industry or just anything like that i have so many stories that i can tell you that i know that god wants me to share and i'm i'm just I need to share I keep seeing something go past. I keep seeing something go past. I don't know what it is, but Father God, protect me as I make this video. All I know is that, uh, you guys, pick your partners carefully. Um, I do want to do like a little segment in my YouTube where I'm talking to like single young women, because you know, that is me and how we need to be more encouraged oh i think i skipped past that last part of the whole entire story but um short short story short even though i already said basically the end um i have to or he was all like what did he say he said he was offended i was like you're this down at the fourth and then after that we just i just never talked to him again and i was cool with that I was cool with that so I I don't I, mm -mm. God showed me once and that's all I needed um and like I was just saying um I do want to do like a little segment for single women <sighs> single young women because I feel like we are just always so focused on men and not focused on our spirits not focused on getting our minds right getting um getting our spirit right with jesus our relationship um so once once god gives me revelation on what he wants me to share exactly then i'll share it but i know today tonight was the night for me to share that so i hope anybody that listened to it i hope any young women that listen to it know that you are more worthy than a man treating you any type of way if god shows you something and gives you revelation please listen to it do not try to second guess it or question it or um not think that god is trying to warn you because literally that's what it is that is the holy spirit coming to you and warning you about what is going to transpire if you keep going this, down this route god sends us things to get us back on track and on the straight and narrow so with that being said i love you guys i hope you guys have a wonderful night 
please say your prayers. Um, you know, make your own relationship with God. Um, I really want to dive, dive deep, dive deep into my YouTube again because I've been gone for so long and uh, I know that God needs me to testify. I know that God needs me to, um, you know, spread his gospel and, you know, tell what I know, even though it's not much. I'm not like the average Christian goer and I know that I'm getting better and I think it's really important for young people like me to see how we can grow in God and know that it is difficult and we may backslide and you know but we may not know everything as well and I think that's the point to showcase that nobody is perfect and you know It's really hard out here and we got to show ourselves grace. We got to show ourselves time and we also got to pick ourselves up. So I am interested in where the Lord is going to take me because I am finally ready to start this call and be faithful with it and just go on this walk with God. I'm excited. Because before I was like, I don't know if I should share this or should I do this or should I do this. But now I'm just like, you know what, let me just talk. Let me just share my story. If I want to do Bible study with you guys, I'll do Bible study. As you can see, I got my Bible right here. I was doing some writing and I was releasing and, um, you know, praying, talking to my angels. And, you know, just releasing a whole bunch of stuff so I can get into my purpose so I can ultimately help you guys because my story may help one person and that's all I need <laughs> and with that being said again I love you guys and I hope you guys have a phenomenal night um and yeah get ready to see more of me <laughs>